Today we want to embark on a very unique area. We want to see how we can read the standard normal distribution tables. And uh, this is the table that I want to use. There are so many others out there. But uh, today I want to spend a bit of time looking at how to read through this. So when you look at it, you see that on the, there is a Z here and there are values below it and the values going sideways. And then in between here, we have more values. So we'll be looking at the Z values. And when you look at the diagram on top here, it tells you from 0 to Z. So what we normally have is this. These are the Z axis, both the negative and the positive. And then the center is at 0. So now we are told, for example, to read this area. Maybe if I give you a value like 1.1. So somebody tells you, read for last this. How do we go about it from the positive side? We look for 1.1 and the 1.1 is here. So the area under the curve is 0 0.3643. This one is 0 0.3643. Now, if it was 1.14, if it was 1.14, then things would have been different. Uh, we are not far off. You come to 1.1, which is here, and then you look for this 4. So where these two meet is this value. It is 0 0.3729. And that you read uh, for last the value on the positive. The other thing I have not mentioned is that for a normal distribution curve, uh, because of symmetry, we take this side to be 0 0.5, and this is 0 0.5. So technically, it tells me that if I know this part, then this other part that I'm shading with a different color, I can be able to get it, the red part, which will be basically be 0 0.5 minus 0 0.3729. And that will give me this part, because one end all of it is 0 0.5. And if I know a portion of it, I'll be able to get the equivalent part on it. And the same case would apply if I'm dealing with the negative side. So for example, I have a curve and on this end, I'm told this is negative 1.14. And I'm told to find this area because of symmetry of this, then this portion is equals to this. So this portion will be equals to 0 0.3729. So they will be equivalent uh, because of symmetry. They are symmetrical. The normal distribution curve is symmetrical. Now based on that, which you can download from the internet easily, I want to go through a couple of examples to see if we are comfortable going through the tables on our own. So, I want to draw quite a number of them and then we'll be looking at them one by one. And uh, we have an example here. So, if I gave you this and then I gave you a value like uh, 1.0 and then I'll give you the equivalent of negative 1.0. So what we have said is, if this is A, B, then this is also on this side, this will be A, B. So B are equal and A are equal. That is one thing we want to keep in mind. Because this is a Z axis on the positive, and this is a Z axis on the negative. So if I have a value like uh, 1.8 on the positive, or if somebody tells me, oh, I want you to get the 1.8. That will be easy. I'll go to the tables as we have been doing and look for 1.8. And it will tell me this is 0 0.4641. But then I would as, have, could as well have said, okay, I don't want the, the value 1.8 on the left. I want it on this side. 
what will be this value? This value will be 0 0.0359. How did I get 0 0.03? I'll take 0 0.5 minus 0 0.4641. Remember 4641 is here. And so, so that all that side will be 0 0.5. Now, if somebody gave me this and said, okay, now I have a value on the negative. So, I give you negative 1.8 and I tell you to get this. So, you go to the tables because the tables are only on the positive side. Remember, it is a Z value that is negative, not the area or the probability. So, this will be equals to 0 0.4641. So you have only values on the positive if we go back to our diagram above. And then we use those positive values. Like here it's 1.80. So it is 0 0.4641. And that's the exact value that we are using to be able to compute that. Then finally, maybe you could be given a question like the shaded part is what I am requiring or that what I'm interested in. So if I put 0 here, and maybe I put negative 1.75, so if I want the shaded part, the first thing is I have to know what is the area of this part here. This is 0 0.4599. And so once I subtract from 0 0.5, I will get the shaded part, and therefore that will give me 0 0.0401. So that is the procedure uh, of going about getting the probabilities uh, from the standard normal. Sometimes you are given a bigger margin and uh, I'll show you another example. Maybe somebody says, can you get us the area of the shaded part, negative 0 0.8. Then somebody shades all this. What we know is on the positive, this is 0 0.5. So we go to the tables and look for this portion. And this is 0 0.2881. So the total area will be 0, it will be 0 0.2881 plus 0 0.5, which is 0 0.7881. And that will give us the all area or the probability that you're interested in. Finally, uh, the same could apply, whereby this time it is maybe the value on the positive. Maybe I give you a value like 1.25 and I'm giving you all this portion. Again, this is 0 0.5 and then I go to the tables and get 1.25 and that will give me 0 0.3944 and therefore the total area will be 0 0.5 plus 0 0.3. 944 which is 0 0.8944 and therefore that gives me the area of uh, that curve finally i can give you uh, other examples for example you are told to calculate the probabilities the first one is you are told that probability of z is less than 0 0.3 the best thing you can do for yourself is you try to sketch the curve. Then you put 0 0.3. You ask yourself which part are we interested in. You're interested in all this portion. And that if you go to your tables, you get is 6179. So you get 0 0.03 here, which is 0 0.1179. And then you add to 0 0.5. If you sum the two, you'll end up getting uh, that probability. And the final one that we would want to consider, which I didn't do, is if I want to get 0 0.5 and 0 0.9. So again, you sketch your graph and see where the values will fall. And then this is 0 0.5 and this is 0 0.9. So I'm interested in the area between these two. 
So what you do is when you get 0 0.9, it will give you all this portion, then you subtract. So the 0 0.9 is 0 0.3159 minus 0 0.15 is 0 0.1915. And the difference between the two gives us the probability that we are interested in of the area under that curve. So this is the process that you take when you're calculating uh, or reading the standard normal distribution tables. So thank you again for watching and enjoy your time and do subscribe. Thank you.